Hi, my name is Mark from the Micro Blog, and until now there is one thing which the Surface always could do better than the iPad when it comes to OneNote. The Surface had the pen and when you click the button OneNote would start up and you could start with your handwriting and do some drawings and whatever you need. For example, when you're in a university you could uh, draw some circles, you could uh, circle something in a graphic for example and OneNote didn't have this feature until now because right now Microsoft shipped an update for the OneNote version which also includes drawing and in this short video I'm going to show it to you. As you can see it here um, OneNote pretty much looks the same like before. You have your different um, sections here with different pages. Uh, you can of course add new pages or you can um, start a new sub page if you like and start like typing here. Um, let's go with hello world. Hello world, not hello world. Hello world because it's standard. And um, you know that feature. But when you look here at the top, you'll see the draw ribbon and the draw ribbon opens up uh, different colors, different pens. And I'll go full screen right now and choose the black pen here. And yeah, <laughs> that's it. You can draw on OneNote on your iPad, which is pretty cool. Um, you have different pens, uh, which have different like which draw different lines like you can see here. You have the text marker pen and yeah, basically now OneNote is a full-blown client on iOS, I'd say that. Um, for example, where could you use this feature very much? Um, I'm a student myself, so I use this feature a lot in university where you basically have your printed presentation. Let's go here, print and um, so what we see here basically is uh, I switch back to text mode because what I learned already is that in text mode um, the drawing, uh, the, the zooming and the panning is a lot easier. This was a presentation considered out of uh, which was had three pages, page one. Well, let's do this already here. Page one, page two. And this was what I was talking about. Um, if you want to zoom or like a pan, you have to use two fingers. This works, but um, it will be quicker if you just switch to text mode here with this click and zoom up. So what else do we have? So one, two, three. Um, a feature which is a little bit hard to show because this is an iPad mini, which probably is more handy when you're using a uh, normal iPad, is that you can say, hey, um, what's the art, what's, uh, how do I hold the pen? Because OneNote also has palm recognition um, Rejection, sorry, palm rejection built in right now. So um, I'll do a new page and try to show it to you. Go full screen. And what I do now is like you would write on paper. Um, hello world. So what you see is that I basically had my hand on the screen and um, it didn't um, or it doesn't trigger any drawings, which usually would happen on an iPad, for example. So um, that's all I'm going to show in this really short video. If you have any questions or want to see anything special, um, please tell me. Um, let's do one more thing. Let's do a photo of the surface. Yes, it does. So that's just a quick show how to show you how useful this is. Yes, it does. So now we have the uh, picture here and um, yeah, let's draw a heart because we love OneNote. So I hope you love OneNote on your iOS device or on your iPad more now because it's really handy if you have an iPad and want to use it. Uh, if you don't know what OneNote is all about, I recommend you my other videos on OneNote, which are also in English. Um, I hope you like them. If you have any questions, don't hesitate and ask me. Thanks for watching. Yeah.